Hey friends, it's your girl Jenna. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to remove box braids in a safe way and try not to damage too much of our hair in the process. So to start off, we're going to need a clip or a scrunchie, a wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb or maybe a pen, a pair of scissors and a bag to put all of the hair in and something to drink of course because it's going to be a process. Okay, so to start off, we're going to look at the braids and see where our hair ends in the braid. So as you can see there, that's my hair. So I'm going to follow my hair down the shaft until I can no longer see my hair poking out of the braid. And then maybe a couple of fingers down where I feel safe that I, I can cut the rest of the braid off without it cutting my own hair. So for me, I'm going to cut off those blonde ends for now and later on I can, you know, cut a little bit more as I'm looking at each individual braid. But for now, I'll just cut off these blonde bits and it will make this removal process so much easier because who has time to sit here and <laughs> pick at these braids individually from the little tiny, tiny ends. And there we go. So when you cut those bits out, you have your plastic bag right beside you or a trash can and you put them right in the bin. It saves you work later. We work smarter, not harder here. Okay, so then you put all of the hair in one ponytail so that you can work on each braid individually that you're going to remove. Um, and you have the space and you can control the, your actual hair that comes out of the braid properly. So to remove the braid, you will find little holes in the braid, in the middle of each braid. Though I don't know how to explain them, but I suppose you could say like they're little holes. And you just stick your rat tail into that hole. Or in Africa, we use pens, we use pencils, we use sticks, we use whatever we can find. And you remove your braid. And I put it straight into the back. And here is where a lot of people have problems. When you reach your natural hair, you're going to have a little bit of clumping, or maybe not if you remove your braids straight away. But if you keep your hair in for as long as I did, I had mine in for a month, because of the product that was used to uh, braid my hair, and obviously with time you get like product buildup, oil buildup, you get like this clump in the hair, uh, where the fake hair is applied to your hair. It is important that you um, comb through each one of these braids before you wash your hair. Many people find themselves in a situation where they have knots in their hair, they have sort of like locks in their hair because they remove all of the braids and go straight to wash their hair. And what happens is those clumps, oh my gosh, they are the devil's work, honestly. Um, it just goes from that to like locks. So, and, and it just, it takes a lot of care and a lot of people do not know how to care for it in that situation and then end up having to cut off the hair or having to do some like major work to undo it. So this is really important. I think if you take anything from this video, it is to detangle your hair as much as you can before you get to washing your hair. You see all those things in the hair. That's all the gunk that's been sitting in your hair all this time. I did it a bit of a rough way because I have almost zero patience for my hair. And even then, I'm still cautious enough to go and detangle each braid individually before washing my hair. Um, obviously, if I was doing this on a client's hair, I would be a bit more cautious of how I am detangling that clump, how I am separating that clump. You can also separate the clump with your fingers and then you comb it out and you have this detangled piece of hair. And you just follow that process throughout the whole head. Now, what I do is once I have a good amount of hair, I you know, comb it out, make sure it's all detangled, and then I braid it up just to get it out of the way so that you know it gives me more space to work with. And I don't know, it, it just makes your whole like, um, removing and detangling process easier because if you have hair all over it just gets a bit overwhelming I find. 
so I twist it up and get it out of my way so that I'm able to work better. So here I am again, checking my braids to see where my hair ends. And once I know where my hair ends, I go down maybe a finger space or two below and then I cut. Because the more um, of the extension hair I can cut off, the better and easier this whole removal process will be for me. So here are those holes that I was talking about. You put your point or your rat tail or a pen right into the hole and then you push down and it will unravel the braids. And once you remove the hair out, you put it straight into your bag and then you declump the hair. So here I am finger declumping, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that, but I'm separating the hair with my fingers. Um, this is just to show you a different way that you can do it instead of poking the rat tail through it. Um, and I believe some people say that this way uh, preserves your hair more, you get less breakage. For me personally, if I get a little breakage, to be honest with you guys, I don't really mind just because I have so much hair. I, I can't sit here and be <laughs> gentle <laughs> the whole way that I don't have the patience on myself. But funny enough, when I'm doing a client's hair, I have all the patience in the world. <laughs> We, we are the worst to ourselves, but yeah, here we are. I think if I lose a couple of strands more of hair, I'll be fine. What do you guys think? <laughs> so here I am showing you how I do it either, um, in this case, with the rat tail comb. So you can do it with a rat tail comb, with a pen to just separate those clumps, those clusters, um, or you can finger, uh, you could do it with your fingers as well, like I did it previously or like I'm doing it right now, um, just see what works for you, really. And the important thing is that you separate it and then you comb it out and you detangle your hair before you wash your hair, before your hair gets wet. Um, I know usually I'm against combing hair when it's dry. What you can do if you don't want to comb your hair dry, you can apply conditioner as you're doing this process. But if the hair gets wet with that clump in it, it will just be disastrous, okay? And I'm going to see if there are other ways of doing this, um, but for now, this is what works for me. And I think over the years, I've, I've braided my hair a lot and I've managed to preserve my hair pretty well. So I think this method works. But if you guys know any other methods that are helpful, please do um, write them down in the comment section down below so we can help each other out. But yeah, this is what I do. I make sure that my hair is fully, fully detangled before I go anywhere near the shower. Yeah, <laughs> and then that's it. And now I'm ready to go and wash. So I hope this video has been useful. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves, be great. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.